Hey, what's up guys? So, if you don't know, I am an iPad user. I use, abuse, and uh, do many things on this iPad. <laughs> and I love it. Look at all these paintings, okay? Look at them. Look at them. Look at all of them. Literally, last video was me showcasing my setup, my desk setup as an iPad artist. Bowie and loyal, okay? Oh my god. Because Hugh and Rich out and said, hey, you know, we know you like drawing, we got a tablet for you. And they sent over the Hue on Canvas Pro 16 2.5K display. <sighs> what a tongue twister. But yeah, and they're like, you know what? We'll send you out the tablet, review it, compare and contrast what you got for the iPad versus your experience on this tablet. And I'm like, sounds Gucci, I'm in. iPad, who was that guy? I ain't loyal. <laughs> so I tried it out and I'm gonna be talking about my experiences with it. Comparing and contrasting a little bit of what I liked about this experience versus using the iPad and stick to the end to see whether I switch permanently to this or I stay on the iPad, okay? Oh, oh. Intriguing. But yeah, once the tablet reached my doorstep, um, it was pretty cool unboxing. It was pretty simple. There's not too much going on. You got your nice sleek design. We got the tablet. We got some, we got the pen and we got a couple little knickknacks along with it. Okay. A drawing glove that I don't use. I know some people love it, but for me personally, I don't like my hands slipping and sliding like it's a water slide on the tablet. Like I, I don't, I don't understand how people love that. We got a cloth, which is nice. And we got these cables. There's this all in one cable that uh, basically connects your tablet to your PC or laptop or whatever you're using so just keep that in mind it's not a standalone display it has to be connected to some sort of operating system so yeah you got your hdmi on one end you got the usb and then you got the power supply make sure you go to the huon site to go and install the drivers that is very important or else your pen sensitivity will not work you know you want to recalibrate your screen display as well you know make sure your colors are looking right unfortunately the user manual that they gave me did not have that uh in there for some reason or maybe i missed it but i had to search up how to actually calibrate the display and basically you hold the power button for a couple of seconds and then the menu shows up and then you can start adjusting your colors now before i got my ipad pro i actually did draw on a pen display okay i went from one of those super small non-screen displays then i upgraded to the screen display and then i got my ipad pro but it's been like a year and a half since then so there's been a lot of progress in my art so I'll, i'm kind of excited to see what i can cook up and just how how much of my iPad art can translate over to Photoshop? Now, with that said, let's actually get into the meat and potatoes of the review. First off, let's just knock it out pen experience, okay? So the iPad has this very sleek pen, but it also has this uh, hard nib brush. Like, it's very... There's no pressure here, okay? There's no indenting. You're basically pressing this pen on glass. Whereas most drawing tablets come with a little thicker of a pen, but there's also the, a little bit of responsiveness at the tip, okay? there's You can press a little and the pen nib itself sort of uh, indents downwards. Now, Hyun actually sent me this pen as well, which is the PW550S. Is that the real name? Come on guys, you gotta fix up on the name. But yeah, they sent me this pen which is a lot closer to the form factor of the Apple Pencil if I compare them side to side, right next to each other, yeah. They basically have the same like profile. Although the Huion does keep the smaller pen nib and they also kind of provided this felt tip versus the standard black plastic nib. And I must say the felt tips, they are so incredible, okay? They uh, make you feel like you're drawing on paper. You know, it feels really good to draw on. Whereas, you know, my one complaint about the Apple Pencil is it does feel like you're kind of on glass. And then coming back to this tablet, you know, I really do miss um, the feeling of this felt tip or just drawing on this screen in particular. Drawing on the tablet, there was a lot more pen pressure availability, I guess, uh, than the Apple Pencil. Um, there, like, I could go really, really light and the tablet will pick that up. On the iPad, there's a little bit less uh, sensitivity there. You know, that's just preference. You get used to it. But yeah, I found myself really pressing down firmly on the tablet to get to reach that 100%. Now, the cool thing is on the Huon drivers, you can actually update or change your pen sensitivity so that if you have a soft touch, you can change it where you don't have to press super firmly to get the maximum range, the hardest sensitivity out there. With that said, I did just randomly experience a driver disconnect. Uh, I loaded up Photoshop one time. I loaded up Photoshop one day and the pen sensitivity was just not working on there. So, you know, I just quick reinstall, solve that issue, no problem. Look at he split. Moving on to the Photoshop portion, I'm not gonna lie, I had a hard time, okay? There was a lot of different things I had to learn back again. First of all, the brushes felt different, okay? The way that things rendered, you have a ton of control. Like, eventually I figured out, hey, if I lower the flow, um, my round brush sort of acts more like my iPad round brush, but you know, I just want things to work right away, okay? It was annoying just having to readjust slight settings to get 
my brush acting the way I wanted it. Like I had a really hard time just sketching. Oh my goodness, help me. I, I spent so long just trying to get used to sketching again. Eventually I just realized like, I wasn't zooming in enough. Even though this is a 16 inch display and I have way more real estate than my iPad, which was nice by the way. It was nice to have that, you know, separation. I was moving my hand a lot more, you know, which helps prevent cramping. Um, but even though I did have more real estate, most of the time my canvas size was actually smaller because zooming in and out was just which was just so much worse on a pc i'm using shortcut keys to zoom in and out but those shortcut keys have a specific incremental zoom which just didn't fit for me i had to use the magnifying tool so that i could get a smoother transition and zoom exactly to the position i'd like and that's one of my main gripes transitioning back onto photoshop on pc it's just all the shortcuts that i had i was mishmashing buttons i was clicking the wrong thing a ton a ton okay and it, it did not feel good i even got frustrated a little bit i'm trying to draw and i'm so used to not having to to, uh, look you know on the iPad my right hand just does things magically okay it's not even a second thought if I zoom in and out it's just so intuitive I can still draw while I'm doing it both hands are moving at the same time okay whereas on the on Photoshop I had to look at my keyboard to the side to actually get the correct key down I mean and I'm not and I'm not like a boomer right I when I'm t when I type I don't look at my keyboard I can type away while just looking at my screen but when i'm drawing i have to move my hands all sorts of different positions to get the right keyboard shortcut and sometimes i'll just misclick and that would really frustrate me and take me out of my drawing experience i guess i'm just really used to my hand moving incredibly well and maybe it's because i can actually see my right hand doing all the movements on the ipad um but yeah i was misclicking a lot and maybe over time i might get better at it but you know there's a lot of jumps you got to make redo and undo are on the left side of the keyboard and then readjusting my canvas size and um readjusting my brush size are on the right side of the keyboard so i'm eventually gonna, i'm like i'm gonna misclick not a major pet peeve i just miss how on my ipad i was just in the flow and my right hand and my drawing hand can work simultaneously to do everything that i need now although the tablet was doing everything well i was just really struggling to render things out i felt like i didn't have as much control as it did on the ipad and this is definitely because of the way smudging works in photoshop i could not get a smudge tool that works like how my smudge tool does in procreate in procreate they blend together in a certain way that just works really well but in photoshop i i couldn't get that smooth blending so i had to just basically keep applying brush strokes over one spot to get the smooth blending that i was looking for there's a lot less detail i you know eventually i just had to keep things very rough um whereas things would be a lot more refined on uh, my ipad and on procreate <laughs> i was struggling okay there was uh, i was shedding tears like you know the feeling when you know what your brain wants you to do but you just can't implement that in front of you like your the brain to painting connection just isn't there yeah, that was me 24 7 but the thing is i already built that connection on my ipad and it just was was really frustrating not being able to translate that over to Photoshop. Another gripe I have with Photoshop is that why is there no multi-layer uh, liquify okay when i went to go liquify and select multiple layers i just automatically assumed they just be there because on procreate you could do it but on photoshop that isn't like the feature at hand basically you have to save the mesh on your liquify and then paste it onto the other layer like it's just a whole different thing and i'm like wouldn't it just be so much easier to if you just select multiple layers and then use liquify you can liquify all the layers at once and keep the layers separate Eventually I gave up, like I wasn't gonna do the whole save mesh, like remesh and then paste it on. I just, you know, ended up merging the layers. And especially when I'm trying to liquefy, my right hand was just limp, okay? It was limp at that point. It was, I, I'd misclick. There's like three keys I gotta press that we're just not getting pressed okay i was fumbling all sorts of keys like i had to get a little creative i started using a lot more hard edges in my paintings i just avoided smooth gradients altogether like in the beginning there was a lot of fumbling around i really tried to blend and render like i did in procreate but it just wasn't working uh, and so i decided you know what we're gonna call it a day and we're just gonna keep it simple keep it hard okay no soft rendering <laughs> and yeah eventually i was able to get through it i'm sure within time i'll be able to render using the multiple brush strokes thing because i'm pretty sure that's how i did it beforehand but man it would it take another little lengthy bit of time to relearn that with that said though we eventually got to the final piece and you know what it's not the worst thing in the world i actually 
do sort of like it you know it definitely has a different vibe than my procreate drawings overall the fundamentals are there it's just the rendering was not there was a lot more relearning that i had to do which i didn't expect not gonna lie i thought i'd come in here you know it'd be a breeze so to answer the question if i'm sticking to the ipad or not the answer is yeah, I, I'm going back to the iPad, okay? I'm going back to the iPad and Procreate. I have a lot more time in there, and I already just miss the simplicity of having everything right in front of me. All the menus on the iPad are super simple. They have everything that I need there. I feel like I'm a much more productive, efficient unit there. My right hand and my left hand are working simultaneously in tandem. Like, they got that team chemistry stacked. You know, with Photoshop, there's a lot and a lot of different settings and there's a lot more advanced things that you can do on Photoshop. Um, I didn't really touch them here, but there is a lot of color adjusting that you could do. There's a whole bunch of different techniques you can uh, like employ here. But at the end of the day, it's just not for me. The Hue on Canvas though, it did what I asked it. The pen experience is amazing and it generally, I wish I could get this uh, pen feeling and experience on my iPad. I know some people would recommend the uh, matte screen protectors or like the paper-like screen protectors that people can put on their iPad, but I just find those to be a little too rough, okay? If I'm like, I just use this pen on my iPad, oh man, I got, I would be one happy trooper. With that said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I had a great time experimenting with uh, the Huon tablet, but it turns out I actually am loyal to my iPad Pro, okay? It's not going anywhere. I'll see you in the next video.